Alright guys, in this video we're going to be starting to talk about some cool math functions. However, before I do, I want to show you guys what someone posted on Bucky's room real quick. For some reason, I thought this was uh, probably more funny than it actually is. Probably because it has a cheeseburger in it, and I think cheeseburgers are hilarious. But I said I asked for a MacBook Air for my birthday, and they posted a picture of a Big Mac, a book, and a bag of chips, which is mostly air, as you know. Ugh cheeseburgers gets me every time so like I said in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to round up and down numbers and the built-in functions for this are in this math header file so if you didn't include it before make sure you're including it now so whenever you're rounding up and down numbers you always want to use floats because if you use ints it's gonna be worthless because they don't need any rounding they're whole numbers so make a float and call it bacon1 or else it won't work. I'm just kidding, it'll, it'll work if you name it something else, but who doesn't love bacon? Actually, let's set this equal to like something stupid like that. So we'll make a float bacon1 and we'll also get a number that we can round down. Like, uh, I don't know, make this one a little easier. 3.3. .3. So now we have two slices of bacon and the first thing I'll talk to you guys about is floor. So we'll just print out the final number right now. So we'll put bacon one um is and we'll just print out the two decimal places. Why the heck not? Percent F point two. And of course right here we want to put in bacon one. Actually not just yet. So the function that we need for this is called floor. And the only parameter it takes is that float that you want to round. Now, no matter what this number is, it's going to round it down to the nearest whole number. And you guys are like, okay. Well, in math class, whenever I was rounding numbers, I said, I looked at the decimal place, and if it was 5 or above, I rounded it up. And if it was anything less than 5, I rounded it down. Well, your computer isn't as smart as you. It either says, okay, am I going to round this number up? Or down and you have to tell it explicitly what to do so no matter what it is floor is gonna round it down so I'll demonstrate that by putting bacon two, bacon two, and I also want to copy this and show you guys the other function which is seal and make sure you don't spell it like this seal because that will not do anything now seal, what this is going to do is it's going to take whatever float you pass it in and round it up to the next highest number. So check this out. And actually it should include a new line or else it might be a little bit difficult to see what's going on. So again, bacon 1 was 9.6 something. Now whenever we hit floor, it rounded it down to 9 and whenever we hit seal, rounded it up to 10. Bacon 2, same thing, even though it was less than 5 or 3.5, and in your head, you might be thinking, always round it down. Floor rounds it down to the next whole number, and seal rounds it up to the next highest number. So again, rounding in C works a little bit differently than rounding in real life. You need to tell it explicitly whether to round up or round down. So now that we understand that concept, we can now move on to some little more advanced math functions and that includes absolute value and I want to show you guys also how to use something like power square root and a random function to generate random numbers something you're going to use a lot whenever you make computer games but for now thank you guys for watching and well smell you later